And now one of the more popular Yorkfield uh, locked CPUs that are still remaining in terms of uh, top score breaking, at least for me, so the Q9400. I tested a few of these and I didn't uh, seem to find like definitely convinced me that it could take down all of the top scores but one is somewhat okay so I want to give it a go on LN2 because these CPUs are pretty hard to estimate based on ambient result how well they can run on LN2 so uh, target at least for validation is pretty tough 4.76 gigahertz so uh, 595 FSB question mark is can it do it the actual benches, they are definitely achievable. So I want to give it a go. So ASRock P45X3 Deluxe, as always. Kimping Cooling F1 Dark CPU container, the KPX thermal paste from kimpingcooling.com. Kimping Cooling North Bridge container with the blue thermal paste with barked P45 uh, IHS. So that's thermal paste between or, or on both sides of the IHS. NVIDIA 6500GT with capture card as always and Corsair dominated GDX2 memory from Samo CX or Tapaka. And powering all of this is the Corsair AX1600i. So I'll start in Windows XP and then Server 2003 as always for the single for that stuff. So let's see how this goes. I'll try to just load some of my previous CPU model profiles and hopefully we can get to let's say 5 Six five five seventy, very very easily from the get go. FSB that is. Okay, I think that can count as rank one, seven, eight, nine, one. Five, eighty-six or so. So seven, eight, nine, one. Previous top score seven, nine, three, seven by GDXX fifty-eight. This was definitely a strong result from him. I have to agree. Damn crazy result. His marble board is definitely strong. So 40 millisecond gain or so. And okay, I have to brute force this one. I'm not 100% sure how the efficiency of master flopper from America is so good. He only ran 4.44 gigahertz. This is 4.64, 200 megahertz higher and only two second, two and a half seconds faster. My result, my result compares better to run by GDX X58, which was like uh, same CPU frequency 262235. It has to be something about the CPU being recognized by the uh, operating system and the test itself. But there has been some very uh, cheat type of tweak that was used for W Prime, but I'm not sure was he using that one. But I don't know. Good anyway, so we got the W primes now. I can move to single for that stuff.
Okay. 703. Okay, 10.703 at 4.667 previous top score by GDXX58 at 10.766, a bit lower frequency than mine. So now just missing valid and 32 amp. Okay, like 13 second improvements spot on. There's definitely a lot more headroom remaining, but very often this platform is just so annoying to run. Weird crashes all over the place. So 9 minutes 56.797, previous top score, I think it's GDXX58 at 10 minutes 9.797. So spot on 13 second improvement. Same CPU frequency, pretty much same memories, very similar memories, so mostly just operating system that makes a difference. So now I'm just missing the validation. Four eight six one, maybe four eight six one point eight eight. And okay, that four point eight six one validation was actually successful on the CPUZ validation website. So the highest validation moved around like one hundred megahertz almost uh, from the previous top score made by GDXX fifty eight, I think, a few years ago. So uh, all around very good. Hardest one was definitely the W Prime thirty two under 7.9 seconds didn't really expect that good result at around 586 587 fsp times 8. previous top score was 7.937 by x gdx x58 again 1024 amp just a two and a half second improvement because of some weird efficiency made by master flopper around three second improvement from gdx x58's run so overall pretty good but it's the possible gain is in the operating system if we are trying to match master floppers efficiency but i think there's something sketchy going on with his run i don't know pi fast i actually got even under 20 seconds like 19.97 at 590 fsp that's enormous if you ask me 1m just 60 something millisecond improvement over the previous rank one score made by gdx x58 again just like on pi fast and 32m was a spot on 13 second improvement so the first ever sub 10 minute run with the uh, q9400 so once again all of the important top scores including validation so six out of six with the CPU model, the Q9400, and it's actually one of the more popular ones among uh, Q9000 series CPUs like Q9400, Q9450, Q9550, Q9650, all of those pretty much. So uh, yeah, all of these scores are already uploaded to hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work and my efforts with these older platforms and CPUs. But otherwise, thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again, and I will see you on the next one.